Hey, in this video, we're going to cover page setup and body properties. And the first thing that I want you to understand is that every paginated report, you can, you can add three different uh, body sections. You can have a header, a footer, and a body section. So by default, you only have the body section and uh, the page footer, right? And you can see that by, that by the properties here, if you don't see this screen, come here into view and enable properties, okay? So if you click here uh, on this section, you see body, and if you click on this section, you see page footer. If you want to add or remove header and footer, you can come here into insert, and there is the header and the footer. So you can add or remove and add or remove. Okay, and whenever you click, so for example, if I insert here a text box, if I insert a rectangle, if I insert a table, whenever you click in this property section here, you're going to see uh, an extended property uh, screen for, in this case, this text box, for this rectangle, and in this, in this example here, only selecting this uh, cell, and remember from my previous video that every cell in a table, it is a text box. So you see here text box two, text box four, so probably this is text box three, and so on. So if you click on here, you're gonna see the full tablex uh, properties. And if you click outside in this gray out section, so outside of the draw section, of the design section, you see the full uh, report properties. Um, why this is important? Because, for example, if you right-click, you can access report properties in a more user-friendly form. But there are a lot of missing parameters here. Uh, so, for example, in here you can have a border color, background. Uh, there are more parameters here than you have in here. Uh, localization language, this can be very important. I'm going to explain why. And this is the same for every single one. So for example, right clicking here, text box properties, you see that you have a lot of uh, pages here, but if you wanna see all of the available options, uh, you need to click in order to evaluate here. And keep in mind that you, for every uh, object that you include, you can change the name. So for example, if I click on here, you have this name where you can just say, for example, a title. Uh, this one, it's going to be uh, tech one, for example, whatever. And now when you click on it, uh, in this header here, you're going to see that name that you just gave. Okay, if you want to keep your report better organized. All right, so in, after this introduction, Right click, uh, left click here to see all of those report properties. Uh, one important thing here is understanding the page size. So let's right click and come to report properties. You see that you can change the page uh, unit here. What is the master unit for your uh, report? Right now it's inches, uh, but you can change that to cent centimeters and also change the page size. For example, my default export, it's going to be an A4. And if you change that to centimeters, you're going to see uh, that uh, conversion happening uh, on the fly. Same for the port portrait and landscape, okay? And why this is important. So for example, uh, I have here a page size uh, A4, which have this uh, width and height. So now, if you run your report, of course, right now it doesn't have anything, and you come here to print layout, you see an A4 with exactly that size that you're defining there. Uh, you could change this as well to basically be a custom. So you click on custom and you change it here, or if you change it, so for example, you select A4 and then put five here, uh, it will automatically change to custom, okay? So it's pretty, pretty flexible, uh, the, size, the paper size that you want to export. Remember that report builder, it is for paginated reports. It is different from the Power BI desktop solution, okay? Right, so right now is inches. And if you now add, let me add from here, a table, 
And if you look here at the bottom, you see that the location and size, they are all in inches. But if I change here now to centimeters, and if I add a new table, that table here now will have uh, centimeters as the default uh, sizing. But coming back to this first tablex here, it is still in inches. And why is this important? This is very important because first, if you have different uh, units, if you try to align them here, you are able to align, you see we can snap. But the conversion between inches to centimeters uh, can create things like this. You see? So that's the maximum number of decimal places that you can have in report builder. So five decimal places. But actually, the conversion might require more than that to have an exact, an exact conversion. So the problem is, if you want to run the report and export that into an Excel file, for example, I'm not sure if you're going to have this problem here. But let's take a look. Let me open that. Yeah, we do have this problem here. You see that I have A, B. Okay, normal, C, but there is a hidden column. And that hidden column here, D, even though in the design we are aligned, you see we are aligned, it's creating this uh, hidden column D here. And the reason it is this conversion between inches and centimeters. So in order to prevent that, always use the same, the same uh, unit. And, sorry, uh, I, am, I, I use metric system my whole life. I am much more familiar with metric system. But for report builder, I advise you to use inches. And the reason for that is because it was developed in inches. So, for example, you, you have pay set up here, which is, you cannot change. It's going to be inches all the time. So there are some inner conversions happening that you cannot control and that inner conversion can cause issues so for example if you put a full if you change this body size to to be your full draw uh, a4 page size section and you add a table and the table goes for the whole uh, so something like that for the whole draw section here you expect those three columns to be in one page, but because of this conversion between inches and centimeters, there is a risk for for report builder to add an, an additional an additional um, page. Okay, so recommendation: always use one page unit, and like it or not, the best way here it is inches. Okay, all right. So if you want to create a paginated report that is, for example, an invoice report, uh, it's, it's better for you to see your whole draw section and how to calculate that, how to properly define that. Because when you export it, so for example, let me create a rectangle. Let me put the rectangle for the, my whole area. And let me put here, actually it would be easier if I just add a border to this body type. And you see that if I print layout, it's going to extend uh, this, you know, the body, the body page, it's going to be extended to the whole page size. But now if you add that rectangle that I mentioned before, so this rectangle, it has a specific size. So let me put it like this, for example. Let me have a, a march. And you see that, look at the amount of space that you have in here, right? You cannot see that properly because this draw section, it is, it's, it, it is just small, right? So from this whole page size that you have available, you're just using, you're just seeing this one. And if you want to create a paginated report, an invoice 
uh, an order, a production order, uh, declaration, anything like that, um, then you need to understand your full draw section so you can draw and can take the most advantage of the page size that you selected. So the way I do it, again, let me just confirm, okay, it is in inches. So I have here, of course, uh, one inch for, uh, for margin is too much. So let me put 0 0.2. So now I have here uh, 0 0.2 of margin on my A4. This is my full A4. So I need to discount the margin, okay? So let's do that. So let me copy this page size here. Uh, so this is my full page size, but I need to discount the margin in the body uh, draw section here. So you click on this, you have the size again, and now you discount. So this should be 7.8, right? And this should be 11.29. Uh, and there we go. So here it's your whole draw section. So let me add, yeah, so my, my uh, rectangle got resized here automatically. So if I run it now, you see that it's matching. My full page size, it is matching with my uh, uh, rectangle. So let's take a look here. Let's put more than one rectangle so you can just take a look and okay. So I'm copying Ctrl C, Ctrl V here. All right. Let me reduce the zoom. Okay, so let me just put here at the bottom. There you go. And you see that you have uh, exactly the size of the page that you can use, okay? What if you are using a page footer and a, page, uh, and a header? So now you're gonna need to discount that as well. So if you come here to insert header and footer, right? So clicking on the header, you have what is the height of it? Uh, currently is one inch and the foot footer here is 0 uh, 0.45 so let me put 0 0.5 so the calculation is easier so now I need to reduce 1.5 from uh, this this size over here right so that's a map that I would need to do in using a calculator 1.5 9.79 so let's do it And there you go. Now you are compensating to have your whole draw section in an A4 format when you have a page header and a page footer, right? So let's put here in the header properties a border. Let have that same border here in the body, which is already here. And let have let's have a, a border here as well. So if you run this you are going to get a single page to draw the thing you need. So let's then uh, add a quick table here so you can understand how this works. So you edit a table here, you put here, and you expand this. Let me select all the number, uh, set up time and operation name, for example. So running this now, you see that I'm using exactly the full uh, width of my page. And now I just have further pages with additional data. All right, so you see between, there is, there is another trick in Report Builder. So let me zoom in this here a little bit, which is, if you try to drag and drop this to snap, you see zero point, so it's snapping now. Uh, it's a little bit difficult, so it didn't do it, right? So you see that, okay, now it did it. 
and uh, but sometimes what it's going to do so let me try to simulate that yeah I'm not able to simulate that but sometimes when you're messing with this uh, this will get uh, added to the header right so right now it's not doing that but it can happen so you come here to the uh, I know why not so it's because we need to use you cannot have a table in the header so apologize so for example if you wanted this yeah like this right so this text box to snap what it does it, it actually adds the text box to the header so this is not good uh, and the only way to if you want to have the snapping so you see even though, even when it's not that close yeah with one here so you know that this is one inch so what you can do you click here you come back here and you see the location the size is one which is 0 0.25 and you can you just change that to be uh, zero so you are exactly at the top left you see that the location now is zero zero and then can help you uh, doing a proper snapping in the tool so here you don't have a problem but sometimes you have stuff in here in the middle and the snapping is creating issues for you and you can just come here and say all right so my previous one is location 00, zero and the size is 0 0.25 so I can just type in here that location is 0 0.25 all right okay so this video is it, it's more for those tips and tricks on page setup and how uh, to proper uh, use uh, units and uh, trust me you, it's going to save a lot of time if you're creating a complex report and if you try to export that reporting uh, later on into a PDF or into an Excel file and the format is not respecting what you're seeing in the report probably be, uh, it's because of one of those reasons that I mentioned in this in this video and that's it thank you